Hi guys, welcome back. It's Kristen from Six Sisters Stuff, and today I'm sharing with you three very easy 30 minute meals. I don't know if your kids are back in school yet. Mine start next week. Along with school, they have programs after school, they have soccer, tumbling starting, piano starting, there's just a lot of stuff going on. So sometimes I don't have a lot of time to cook meals, so I'm a huge fan of these 30 minute ones. So that's what we're sharing with you. These meals today, 30 minutes or less. Oh, don't forget, subscribe to our channel right now because we have videos going on seven days a week. They start at 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. After you subscribe, push the little bell and you'll get our notifications so you'll see our recipes every day, which is good. It's good to change your recipes. I hope you enjoy these three 30 minutes of back to school meals. And here we go. Our first one today is called Easy Taco Cups. So first I took about 10 tortillas. These tortillas are a little bit bigger. You can use smaller ones um, to make it easier for yourself but we like the big ones. So after you put those in the muffin tin, then you're going to get some chicken. I just use canned chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken, and I put about a heaping spoonful of the chicken into each tortilla. If you want your kids to help you, they could easily do this part. All right, next we're gonna have one can of black beans. Same as the chicken, about a heaping spoonful into each one. Same with the cheese, a heaping spoonful. Don't you love my measurements? <laughs> okay, then you're gonna just take it and put it in the oven for about 350 degrees for 10 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm just chopping up my vegetables. I like lettuce on mine. I also like tomatoes. You can use normal tomatoes, but my kids like cherry tomatoes, so that's why I go for those ones. All right, now once it's done cooking, then I can just put it all together. So first I add some taco seasoning. You can add this before they cook or after, it doesn't matter. So I just have just a little bit of sprinkle. I like it in bulk because I use a lot of taco seasoning. Next, I'm just gonna put my lettuce right on top. If your kids don't like lettuce, don't worry about it, just skip that part. Then the tomatoes. You don't have to do it all pretty, but I like it to look nice. So that's why I'm doing just on the side. You can put it in the middle or wherever you want. Next, I'm just adding my sour cream. Um, I left one without sour cream because one child does not like sour cream. Next is the guacamole. I like to use just the little containers of the guacamole. And just like that, it's done. Next is the skillet vegetable lasagna. This is a family favorite. First, I'm going to take some olive oil and just put it on the bottom of my pan. My pan's not over the heat yet, and that's okay. Next, I'm gonna take this nifty little chopper. I love it to chop my onions, because it doesn't make my eyes water. Just make sure the lid's on tight, and then just pull, and just chop to however small you want it. Let's see, I could chop it a little bit more. That zucchini's a little big. So I'm just gonna pull it a few more times. And then once you're done pulling, you just take the lid off. Nice, good to go. There is a few big pieces. I filled it up a little too full, but for the most part, it looks good. I'm just gonna dump it right into my skillet with the oil in it. I'm gonna put my blades back in, throw my pepper in, put my lid on, and just pull again. That easy, it really is so simple. If you like this little thing like I do, I'll just put a link down below for you. Now you're just gonna dump it into your pan and we are all good with our vegetables. I like to add a little garlic salt, um, just whatever you prefer. Then a little bit of garlic too. I just did about a teaspoon. Next, I put it on my little handy dandy skillet and we're gonna heat that up for about, oh, three to four minutes until the veggies become a little bit soft. Next, you're gonna add a big can of crushed tomatoes and mix those in really good. You wanna heat that up for about a minute or so. Once it's warm, then you're gonna add your lasagna noodles. I like the ones that you don't have to boil before you use. So just kinda of stick them in, push them in the liquid a little bit, but you'll be cooking this with the lid on so it's not 
completely necessary to have them all covered. All right, just adding another layer. And then I'm gonna stick my lid on for about 10 minutes. Once it's done, the noodles will be a little curled, but that's okay. I'm gonna add about a cup of ricotta cheese. If you don't like ricotta, that's okay. You can also use cottage cheese if you like that better. Just gonna add a little bit to the top and then spread it all around. At least the, spread it the best that you can. Once we're done with that, we're gonna add mozzarella cheese. I did about two cups of mozzarella um, and then put the lid on. It's gonna bake for another 10 minutes. Once we're done there, you're gonna add basil to the top. If you like basil, if not, don't worry about it and you're good to go. Our last recipe is mini chicken pot pie. All right, first you're gonna take some frozen vegetables. Now usually you only use two cups for this recipe, but I like a lot of vegetables, so I added a large bag. Um, add one can of cream of chicken soup. I use condensed, but you can use either kind. One can of chicken. Now this is my awesome can opener. It is my most favorite and I've had about 10, so I'll put a link below so you can find it. You drain the juice and then add your chicken in, and that's it. And you're just going to mix it all up now. Now if you like a little more sauce, add another can of cream of chicken soup, but to me it doesn't matter that much. I like the vegetables. Then I'm going to take a non-stick cooking spray and spray the inside of my muffin tins. And I'm gonna grab my biscuits, open those up. Now these are pretty big biscuits. We like a lot of bread on our biscuits. Um, if you don't like them as much, you can get smaller ones. These are the jumbo sized. You can get regular ones and they won't be as much bread. All right, then you're just gonna do a heaping spoonful of the mixture inside of it. It's seriously that easy. You fill it up, then you're gonna bake it at about 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Because it was so thick, they had to go about 20, but if it's thin, they can go 15. And that's it, so simple and easy. Thanks guys for joining me today. See you next time.